Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing okay. So it's been quite a while since I created the last video. I've been busy with some personal works. So right now uh, I'm going to show you the Horizon emulator on Odin 2. So a few days back uh, someone commented on my video stating that whatever performance you are getting on WinLetter perhaps you'll get double the performance on the other emulators like Dark Oasis or Horizon. So though I was a bit skeptical because uh, if you have used this emulators apart from WinLetter they are not uh, very much uh, user friendly to set up and stuff like that. However, I tried my luck and today I'm going to show you how to run Ace Combat Horizon on this and I'll be also showing you the performance. Do let me go ahead and show you the environment presets. This is very much important for running the games on the simulator. Now, apart from this, I have also X input bridge. We need to start the services. And remember, guys, uh, someone commented on the post that uh, in order to enable the X input or the physical controls, you need to have Y9.7. Sorry, Y9.7. Without it, uh, the external controllers or the X input will not work. Okay, so here are my settings. As you can see, I'm using my preset as test. The box is set to 2605. And rest of things are there. Okay, without further ado, let's click on this and let's run it. Okay, there it is. Ace Combat. Let me launch it from here. So as you can see the X input is working fine which is a plus for me because I don't prefer using the touch screen. Warwolf 1, what's your status? We're looking for action. The second flight of bandits approaching from the south. I have them on radar. So Take them out! As you can see the performance is much better I would say. It's like PC-like experience. I'm getting almost 70 to 60 percent of FPS without any boost or anything. So credit goes to that person who instigated me to try on this emulator. Okay, let's see if we can take the last. Yeah. So even in the lowest, uh, I think we are not dipping down more than 55 FPS, which is good. Let's see if we can take that out. Okay, we are not getting a clear tone. Talk to you. Okay, we are initiating the dog fight now. Acknowledged. Thank you. 
on target. Okay, finally I've got him. Thank you, Colonel. I still see targets, Colonel. Okay, uh, here's a quick test. So, I have the Bluetooth turned on. I'm going to try my external controller and see if it works. So, it's already paired. As you can see, it's showing up here. Let's see. So, as you can see, it works fine. It works fine. Uh, the only problem is that uh, whenever I'm trying to tilt left, as you can see, it's going right. So apart from that, every control works fine. The acceleration, the other button. I'm not sure if this is a military issue or something else. Okay. And there it crashed. So hopefully guys, uh, this gives you an idea on how this emulator works. Let me see if I can launch it again. Okay, so far so good. I believe the external controller or the X input might have caused the emulator to crash uh, since this is still in beta version and a lot of work is going on. So there's no point complaining. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you have noted on the settings. Uh, I wish you all the best if you're trying to emulate the same game on this emulator and trust me, uh, the hype is real.